After 9-11, I found myself in a career search, um, which landed me working as a civilian contractor on a military base in northern Iraq, the city of Mosul. We were working in an army supply warehouse, providing the troops with the pieces and parts they needed to do their job. One of my friends on the base was uh, an army battalion surgeon who had been going outside the wire helping children. Uh, he came back and told me about kids who can't walk. Uh, they have no access to wheelchairs in the country um, in the middle of war. Uh, so he asked me to help him find wheelchairs for the children he was helping. And uh, after putting a request back to friends and family back home, we had 31 wheelchairs come over. Helping children is something everyone wants to do. And helping troops is also something everyone wants to do. And when you combine those two, it creates an exponential emotional return for the people helping. These wheelchairs are more than just getting children from point A to point B. They actually live in these wheelchairs. They provide the proper positioning, the support, and body posture that they will need to grow straight uh, as they age and, and grow older. There are no pediatric wheelchair suppliers in the Middle East. Kids in, in the Middle East have uh, that have disabilities are left on the ground and not necessarily because families want to leave them on the ground it's mainly because um, they don't have a wheelchair for them. They can't sit up by themselves so what do they do? They lay down and kids that have laid down all their lives 5, 10, 12 years old their backbone fuses to their hips and they won't go in a seated position. It locks their back to their hips and they're a flat board for the rest of their life. I found a UNICEF 2007 study which showed that one out of seven children, around 15%, have disability. Most of them have walking disabilities. That's two and a quarter million disabled children in the country who need wheelchairs, and I'm the only one who has a pediatric wheelchair that will work for them. There are wheelchair providers out there providing adult wheelchairs and even smaller adult-style wheelchairs for children but not a pediatric wheelchair. UNICEF also says that of the general population of children in the world, that almost 20% of children, one out of five, have disabilities. That could be blindness, it could be speech disabilities, other disabilities, but almost all of those include a walking disability. So the need for children around the world is in the tens of millions. When I realized how many children in the world actually need a wheelchair, and not just a hospital wheelchair, but a pediatric wheelchair. I knew then that a simple request for 12 pediatric wheelchairs could become a way to improve the health of disabled kids around the world. I've seen the faces of children change from sad to happy. And I've seen the faces of the parents change from despair to hope. This vision is real. It's not complicated. We're helping improve the health of disabled children around the world. We know where to get the wheelchairs, and we know how to get them to the children who need them, but we need your help. If your organization can help provide funding, please contact me.